Hi, Peter from Callouts here. Today I'm happy to present our latest Camtasia template collection, YouTube End Screens. End Screens for YouTube is a great way of promoting other videos, offer a subscribe button at the end of your videos, and link to playlists and much more. And in this new collection you will find 10 new templates optimized as end screens for YouTube. Here's a super quick preview of included templates. So that was a very quick preview of the included templates. If you want to check them out in detail, I've included a longer preview at the end of this video. The templates are delivered as an installer and once installed, you'll file them in the Camtasia library. You have three folder, YouTube background graphics, end music and end screen templates. In the backgrounds folder, we have included four graphics to get you started. You can also find hundreds of other suitable graphic backgrounds and thousands of suitable video backgrounds on callouts.com. In the music folder, you'll find nine tracks suitable for the end screens. So if there is a template you feel doesn't have the right feeling, just exchange it. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. And the third folder is the template folder with 10 drag and drop ready templates. The YouTube end screen is a feature of YouTube where you can add links to other videos, playlists, a subscribe button and a link to your website. But before we start adding this in YouTube, we need to prepare it in Camtasia. Once you're ready with your video, drag the YouTube ending template to the end of your video. Before you add the end screen, the video needs to be 20 seconds long or more to take advantage of the full end screen video. Okay, so let's check out the process in Camtasia how to use them. Now I have a 20 second long image here that we will pretend is my ready made video and now it's time to add the end screen. So I go into the library and I found find the end screen templates and we're going to pick uh, the end screen we want to use of the 10 templates. So for this example, we will pick number five, for example. So what you do when your video is ready is you drop it in after your video. Now later we're going to render out this piece in its entirety and use this one to set up the links in YouTube. So we pass the video part and we come to the end screen. In the end screen here we have four text elements. We have a background video and a music file. So these four you can edit uh, like you usually do in quick properties, just change the text. So your new text here, that's the headline. You can also go in and change the color, size of font, etc. there. Uh, we have the stay updated. It's the, for the subscribe button. So here you can read subscribe and stay updated. So you can edit that text here. The same for the video text that is under the video. This is gonna be the video or a playlist that is placed here. And lastly, we have a link. Now these three elements, you're not gonna change because those we will edit in YouTube. We will place the YouTube uh, assets on top of these uh, or elements. Okay, so that's what's editable. Now. In this example, we have a video. Let's play through it here. And all the templates have sound and music included with them. So that's how it looks. And we want to change the background video. Then you can, for example, if you don't want a video, but you want a graphic, you can use these or you can use other background graphics you find on callouts. And you just drag it over and drop it into the background video. And there you have a static background instead. Now I'm undoing that with Control Z uh, to use the original. Uh, for the music, now we have the end music here with the files. 
Now in uh, Camtasia, they made it possible to exchange these files. It's a new update from one of the later releases that you can just drag from the library or the media tab directly in here, but it doesn't work with music. So for the music file to exchange that, we drag the one we want to use. Let's say we wanted to use this one instead. So I will drag it down. Let's make this a little smaller, the track here. And I copy it, or actually I cut it. Now we go into the end screen template and the music is at the bottom there. So I will just paste it here. And then I drop it in to replace it. And now we have a new music track. Okay, so back to the main timeline. We're satisfied with the edits that we have made. The templates, it is now ready to export. So we're going to publish it. Because I have other things on the timeline, I'm just going to render it out here. I choose export timeline selection as. And we call it test. Encoding, we're using maximum quality. We're not using the GPU and audio is set to 192. While it's doing that, we're going to open YouTube. So here we are, we're uploading this one. <coughs> Now I'm going to set it to uh, visibility uh, an unlisted video for the time being. And then we go to video elements. You find the YouTube end screens in the video elements. So we click on them and you can add subtitles, add an end screen, add cards. So it's an add an end screen that we want to do. So we click add. And here we are in the end screen. Now we already had a number of elements in Camtasia. Uh, we had the subscribe button, a video or a playlist, the link. So those are the three elements we want to use. In YouTube, we have a link subscribe and a video on this one, but we can actually start from scratch. Let me in this example, start from scratch and add all three elements. So the first step is to add the elements. We want to add a video and in the videos you have a, so three choices here. You can use the most recent upload best for the viewer or a specific video and it's good to combine these with the text that you are using uh, in the template. So in this case, we will use most recent upload. And the second element was a subscribe button. So we will choose the subscribe button here. And the third element was the link to our website. And let me We'll, we'll put call outs as a link. Okay, so the first step is I'm going to move the timeline here on each of these elements so they don't start in the beginning of the video. And then I, I'm going to find the placement here. So I place the timeline here where I can see all three of them. And first we have the subscribe button and now I'm going to use control and my mouse wheel uh, on Mac. It is uh, choose settings, view and zoom in and you can zoom into Safari or the browser that you're using. So I'm zooming here to let's set it to 150%. 
Uh, I'm doing this so I can easily see the different elements and easy to place the thing. So now we place the subscribe button. We can also see this is the subscribe. I place it on top of the circle there. And then we have the link. We place it on top of that one. Now they're also aligned here. Uh, YouTube has a little align function. So you see that they are aligned with each other. And finally, we want to place the video. So I choose the video down there. And in this case, it is a large file size. So we're going to drag this to the maximum size. Here we also have a large one. And we're going to place it on top of that one there. If you have trouble placing them that they don't fit exactly, then you can turn off the snap to grid here. And to see better the template, you can also remove the grid view, right? So now I can move it freely to place it exactly. So there, I'm satisfied with the pla placement of all three. Uh, the second step after uh, placement is the timing of them, okay? I'm actually going to zoom out just a little bit to see both the timeline and the window here. Now I drag over to where our end template is starting. And slowly move it forward and there the video pops up. So now I want the video to start at that point. Uh, the reason is that the texts are timed to go with the different elements. So we want them to, to, to be timed correctly. So I can see here we are at 2115. And I see up here now where I am. So I drag it to 2115. There, something like that. Okay, so it plays. I maybe just a tiny bit earlier there. And then we have the subscribe button and the subscribe button appears at 2213. So we're dragging the subscribe to 2212. That'll be good. And the link will appear twenty three eleven. Okay, so first the video, then the subscribe button, and then the link. Now the link is red, meaning we have to edit it here. The, the link is done, but we need a image, image missing. It's also telling us here. So I'm going to load a video, an image here. Okay, so now the timing is correct and the elements are correct. And we can save it. And we'll save it out here. And we can go and check it out. Now you see the timing wasn't quite correct. We see the buttons beforehand. So we actually have to uh, change, edit the, uh, the timing a little bit better. It could be YouTube's rendering here that it is not done with the rendering. Now it looks better, yeah.
Yeah, it was actually the rendering. The timing is working. I'm gonna check a third time just to be sure. Yeah. Okay, so that is how you add an end screen. And that's actually it for this tutorial. Um, now you know how to edit these templates. And I will show a preview of the 10 templates included now so you can look at them uh, to see if there is anything you like. Okay, I hope you like this and you can download these on callouts. All these templates plus thousands of other Camtasia templates are available for our members. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you soon.